morning guys welcome to pilates it's another lovely sunday morning and we're looking forward to getting started on pilates that's it so good morning good morning to everybody welcome to pilates this morning my name's ellie i'm your instructor nice to see you good morning fantastic we'll just give it a couple of minutes just for everybody to come on in and enter nice to see you this morning well done that's it. Morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Fantastic. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Pilates. My name's Ellie. I'm your instructor. Thank you ever so much for being here and looking forward to doing a lovely Pilates session with you today. Let's come together, bringing our feet nice and narrow and then turning our feet out to 10 to 2 and then following with our heel coming up we've got that nice soft knee and to the pelvis let's drop that pelvis to the front and to the back just bringing awareness to our own posture and our own body any aches and pains we're experiencing or any stiffness and when we feel that we've got that in the center okay just drawing the abdominal muscles to keep it nice and in place let's roll those shoulders back and down and stand beautifully tall towards the sky Let's center ourselves with our breath. Let's inhale through our nose and exhale through our pursed lip. And really keep that breath going for me, guys. Inhaling and exhaling, feeling the rib cage opening and widening, and then contracting and releasing. And of course, we keep this breath flowing throughout the class, ideally inhaling to prepare to do the exercise and exhaling to do the exercise itself. But the most important part is that you just keep that breath flowing for me, don't hold on to it, okay? Let's think about this core now, so fundamental in Pilates, okay? Let's have an imaginary belt around our waist and drawing in tight, tight, that notch number 10. Releasing to five, two and a half, and let go. And again, all the way tight, tight into that 10 for me. Releasing to five, two and a half, and let go. Fantastic. And let's think of the pelvic floor as a lift. Drawing up all the way to that floor number 10. Check those bottoms aren't squeezing. Releasing to five, two and a half, and let go. And again, all the way up to 10, to five, to two, and release. And let's do both together and with the breath. Let's inhale to prepare and exhale, draw up and in to 10, to five, to two, and release. And again, inhale to prepare, exhale, draw up and in to 10, to five, to two, and release. Now let's draw both back up to at least a two and a half, if not more, okay? And throughout the class, if I refer to anything about the core, I'm talking about both of these areas at the same time, okay, guys? So really keep them both locked on to create this abdominal contraction that is so important for Pilates, okay? Let's get to the warm up. Let's inhale to prepare and exhale to roll those shoulders back and down, really opening up the chest, okay? Releasing any tension and using that breath checking those tummies and that pelvic floors are nice and locked on as we circle back for four keep that breath flowing for me three nice and gentle two lovely and one and release okay coming into the side bend now inhaling to prepare exhaling to lengthen down that side seam with the trousers inhaling here exhaling back to center and again working that towards the other side really feeling that rib cage opening and widening that waist stretching and releasing really allow that head to be heavy drifting down towards the floor that's it mobilizing the spine in that lateral direction this is such a beautiful way to wake the body up every morning i really encourage you to incorporate this into your daily routine guys that's it and just give me one more oh, i just love this so much and relax into center lovely coming into a thoracic twist now guys so we're going to keep these hips facing forwards locking this tummy on and we're just going to mobilize through this upper center of the back okay we're going to take our hands in line with our nose and keep them there we're going to inhale to prepare and exhale to slightly twist in that upper body inhaling here and exhaling back to center now you might be super flexible and be able to get quite a long way or you might just be able to do a little movement both is perfectly fine it's your body okay your practice as you work to where you feel comfortable please make sure that those hips are facing the front and we're just mobilizing through that upper part of the spine and just one more for me and then let's rest into center fantastic okay coming into the roll down now for me guys we're going to inhale to prepare we're going to exhale to tuck the chin and then roll sequentially through the spine vertebrae by vertebrae drifting down to wherever feels right for us this morning and quite often in the morning we do feel a little bit stiff so don't be put off if you can't touch your toes first thing in the morning 
Let's stay there for a moment. Stretching and lengthening, feeling that all the way down that back of the leg. Inhaling and exhaling to restack vertebrae on vertebrae. Those tummies nice and in for me. Rolling up through the spine, those shoulders back and down, and that head beautifully tall. And again, inhale to prepare, exhale to tuck, to roll and to release. Drifting down, stretching out, and lengthening. Noting maybe how your body's feeling this morning. Is that spine feeling a little clunky and stiff, or is it beautifully fluid? Inhaling and exhaling to restack. Again, feeling that spine, feeling how your body's responding to that lateral, that forward flexion movement. And again, inhaling to prepare, exhaling to tuck, to roll and to release. Drifting down, lengthening, heavy head, heavy shoulders. Enjoy the peace. Inhaling and exhaling to restack again vertebrae on vertebrae all the way up to standing shoulders back and down head beautifully tall fantastic guys and again that's another lovely one to do first thing in the morning to get that flexibility back particularly into the backs of the legs stretching out those hamstrings and bringing mobility back to the body okay it's a lovely way to center yourself in the morning talking about let's go on to our balancing you've got to be centered for this let's push through that left foot and draw that right foot up for me really push into that foot in the floor and draw that tummy in okay really focus on something whether it's a spot on your wall or something Something that's not moving drawing up mobilizing through that hip joint love this we come up again for four that breath flowing through the body for three those tummies nice and in good guys two lovely and one at the top for me working that foot through that ankle joint four beautiful circles in one direction and then four beautiful circles in the other. And again, taking note, how's our body responding this morning? Are those ankles stiff? You know, do you need to work on that a little bit more? Let's transfer to the other side and draw up again for eight. Tummy's nice and in, those shoulders back and down for seven. That breath flowing through the body for six. Good job, guys. And five, pulling in all the time. For four, mobilizing through that hip joint. And three, slow and steady for two. Fantastic. And one. Stay at the top for me. And again, those four beautiful circles in one direction, mobilising through that ankle joint. And then those four beautiful circles in the other. Preparing ourselves for yet another fantastic Pilates class. Well done, guys. Okay, we're going to stick with the balance first of all. We're going to come up into that nice ballerina pose for me and we're going to kick that leg out, okay, as if we're kicking 50 pounds of mud or something out as well. For an easier option, feel free to have your legs down here, okay, that's perfectly fine. But the idea is to balance, so really push through that supportive foot as much as you can. Keep that body really nice and locked on and as I said before, pick a little spot to help you to concentrate on that focus, okay? So let's come up into that position for me. Inhaling to prepare, exhaling, let's kick for eight, kick seven, six and five. Pull in for four, three, two and one. Kick eight, lovely, seven, good, six and five. Pull in for four, lovely, three, good, two and one. Last set, eight, there we go, be here, seven, six, five and four. Good job, three, kick, two, lovely and one. Fantastic. On the other side, you can feel those muscles firing up, can't you? Really kick through, push through the muscles and activate them. Inhaling to prepare, guys. Exhaling, let's kick for eight, seven, six, and five. Kick four, good. Three, two, and one. Again, eight, seven, six, and five. Kick out four, good. Three, lovely. Two, and one. Again, eight, seven, six, and five. Pull in for four, three, two, and one and release oh good firing up of those muscles fantastic right guys grab your tins of beans whatever you've got to hand okay and then we're going to do a little bit of arm work so do a little weight tummies nice and in feet facing forwards we're going to do some little circles forwards really push through those arms for me okay activate those muscles tummies of course nice and in inhaling to prepare exhaling to circle for eight seven six and five that movement for the shoulders for four three use that breath two and one reverse eight seven good six and five control for four three no move in that body two and one we're going to bring the arms up palms forward rotating through the shoulders okay for a nice rotator cuff exercise really keep that tummy locked on for me inhaling to prepare exhaling to rotate for eight back to center keeping that 90 degree in the arms for seven Pulling in all the time for six, lovely, and five, 
use that breath for four and three check those tummies are pulled in two lovely and one arms out the strong man bicep curl number two cutting in eight stretching out using the mind and seven pull that tummy in tight for six good job and five use that breath for four lovely guys and three strong control two lovely and one arms out circle forwards eight stretch seven six and five body steady for four three two and one reverse it eight good seven six and five pull in for four three two and one arms up let's rotate eight and up to center seven draw in come on guys for six keep that angle keep those elbows up for five and four that breath flowing for three lovely two and one arms out in we curl eight come on keep those shoulders down seven pull it in for six good job and five fantastic for four pull it in use that mind three keep that tummy under control two lovely and one last set can we do it eight come on pull it seven six and five use that breath for four push through those arms three lovely two and one reverse it eight seven six and five pull in for four three two and one arms up let's rotate eight back to center seven come on pull in six feel that rotation and five strong shoulders for four lovely keep that breath flowing come on three good job two lovely and one arms out eight come on curl it in seven feel those muscles activating for six and five good job for four fantastic three curling in two lovely and one Ooh, that felt good didn't it all that energy flowing through the arms activating them really nice and hard this morning well done guys right we're going to stay with the weight i'm going to adjust my costume Get a bit hot. Woo, tell you, that's it. We're going to do some nice bug exercises now, guys. Okay, so we've got a little bend in our knee. Okay, that back's nice and straight. And we're going to lead up with the elbow. Okay, bringing that up, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Okay, tummy nice and tight, shoulders away from the ears. Let's inhale to prepare and exhale to draw up for me for eight. Using that breath, seven, squeezing together for six, like a little chicken. Come on five get those elbows nice and high and four use that breath for three gliding them together two and one and again check those tummies eight pull in nice and hard for seven use that breath come on six squeeze them up for five and four good stuff for three fantastic two lovely and one last set curl it up come on eight Draw them together, seven and six. Check those tummies are nice and on for five. Those back straight for four. Good effort. Three, very nice. Two, lovely. And one. Coming into a tricep kickback. Okay, you're going to kick that arm back and back to centre. Just be careful, okay, that you don't swing it. Control again through that core. Inhaling to prepare. Exhaling to push back for eight and seven. Control it for six don't swing five push it up for four use that breath for three good job two lovely and one keep it up push it up eight pulse seven six and five pull in for four three two and one again eight reach seven six and five push up for four three two and one last set keep reaching come on eight seven six and five, pull tight, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center, push it back, eight, squeeze it back, come on, seven, working the back of the arm for six, those shoulders down for five, pulling in all the time, come on, four, push it back, you've got this, three, come on, good stuff, two, lovely, and one, pulse it up for me, come on, reach, eight, seven, six, and five, control for four, three, two and one again eight seven huh, six and five keep pushing four come on three two and one and again eight that's it seven push up six and five control for four good three lovely two 
and one. Last set. In and squeeze back. Come on, eight. Think of the back of the arm. Seven. We're toning for six. Good job. And five. Pulling in all the time for four. Good effort. Three. Lovely. Two. Fantastic. And one. Good job. Oh, roll those shoulders back and down. Great effort, guys. Well done. Right, we're going to come into the Pilates zip up. Okay, so as the name implies, we are going to be zooping up. We're going to pull the arms up, okay? Just that chest tight, so those arms are nice and straight. And at the same time, we're going to think about those abdominal muscles pulling in and up to that 10 on both, okay? You can have your feet flat on the ground, if you, but if you want to progress it, come up onto those tiptoes, okay? Work through the calves and work through the articulation of the foot. <sighs> Lovely one for balance, okay? So shoulders back and down, that tummy nice and in. Let's inhale to prepare and exhale to lift for eight. Pulling up all the time. Seven, zip up with the arms up for six. That's it, zip up for five. Pull in, good job for four. Use that breath, three, controlling it. That's good, two, lovely, and one. And again, zip up, eight, pull in. Come on, seven, feel that foot working for six. Those calves strengthening for five. Good job. For four, that breath still flowing. Three, come on, keep zipping up each time. Two, lovely, and one. Last set. Zip, come on. Eight, there we go. Seven, pulling in for six. Good job. And five, up onto those toes for four. Ah, and three, good job. Two, lovely. And one, ah, and release. The last one, guys, a dumb waiter. This is so important for opening the shoulders, okay? For supporting our posture, keeping those shoulders back and down. So those elbows right into the side of the knee, okay? We're going to mobilize through that chest, sticking it back out, okay? Be careful we don't lean over in the back as we're doing that. We're keeping it nice and locked on, of course, because we're using that core. Ah, shoulders back and down, inhaling to prepare. Exhaling to open for eight. Drawing the back as if they're kissing. Seven. There we go. Those tummies tight for six. Using that breath for five. Good job. And four. Nice and strong for three. Two. Lovely. And one. Arms out. Let's curl in. Eight. Stretch out. Seven. Come on. We've done this before. We know what we're doing for six. Use that mind. And five. Pull out for four. Good stuff. Three, fantastic. Two, lovely. And one. Down we go. And again. Eight. Come on, pull that tummy in. And seven. Stretching back, opening the chest for six. You feel that all in the shoulder complex for five. Good job. And four. Keep that breath flowing. Three, slow and gentle. Keep pulling in. Two, lovely and one arms out in we go again eight think of those biceps that are working seven really stretching out using that mind for six those muscles growing and strengthening for five and four use that breath for three fantastic two lovely and one last set let's rotate eight stretch back open that heart for seven Good job, guys. And six. A lot of arms this morning for five. Keep working back. Good job. For four. We're nearly there. Three. Fantastic. Two. Lovely. And one. Last set. In we curl. Eight. Come on, stretch out. Use that mind. For seven. And six. Use that breath. For five. Good job. And four. Slow and steady. Three. Fantastic. Two. Good, and one, and release. Roll those shoulders back. Hopefully you can feel that in your chest already. Make you feel a bit more, better posture, a bit more confident in yourself. Well done, guys. Looking good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work through a lovely, beautiful sequence, okay? So we've done the roll down. We know about that, rolling down through the spine. And we're going to incorporate that into some of the exercises that we've done before, okay? So we've done the nice tricep push-up, okay, or the Pilates push-up, those hands directly underneath the shoulders, okay, those elbows going backwards and staying nice and in towards the body. We're going to do that for one set. The second set that we're going to do, okay, 
is mountain climbers, where we're going to draw opposite knee, okay, across the body to the opposite elbow, tucking in the tailbone. And then the final set that we're going to do is some nice taps, okay, so really nice and slow, controlling the body as we tap up, okay, to touch the shoulders. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's come down to the mat, let's stand at the top, we're going to inhale to prepare, we're going to exhale to tuck the chin, and then we're going to roll sequentially, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way down to the mat. We're going to walk our hands out, okay, to underneath our shoulders. We can have our hands facing forwards, okay, those elbows facing backwards. We're going to come down to the mat and push up in that Pilates push up. For an easier option, you can bring your knees down on the floor. Check that pelvis is tucked out, and of course that tummy and pelvic floor are locked off, okay? Let's go down for eight guys. As we push up, that tummy nice and locked off. Use that breath, <sighs> exhale to rise the body up again. For six, those elbows nice and into the side of the body. Good, and five. Keep that breath flowing for four. Elbows back for three. Good job, two, lovely, and one. We're gonna push up into that pipe or a downward dog, okay? Pushing down through the heels. We're gonna walk the hands back towards the feet, okay? Then we're gonna unfurl that spine again, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way up to standing. Those shoulders back and down, okay? This time we're gonna go down and do those mountain climbers for the guys. Let's inhale to prepare, exhale to tuck the chin. And then roll again, sequentially, feeling the spine, each time loosening, stretching, lengthening, walking those hands out for me so they're underneath the shoulders. Okay, easier option again, on the knees, that pelvis tucked under, drawing the knee across the mat, okay? Or for a harder option, we're up in that full plank position. Everything locked on for me, guys. Inhaling to prepare, exhaling to work across for eight. Retuck that tailbone under, seven. Slow and steady for six. Pulling in all the time for five. Good job. And four. All the way down here for three. Working across the body. Back to centre. Two. Lovely. And one. And again, hike up or down with dog for me. Push through the heel. Draw the hands back. Inhale here. Exhale to restack. All the way back up. To standing. Those shoulders back and down. Okay. It's time for the taps. Let's inhale to prepare. Exhale to tuck the chin, and then roll sequentially through that body again, walking the hands out. You know the score by now, okay? Either drop into the knees or up in that full plank position. Don't let that bottom duck under for eight. Tapping slow and steady. Seven. No movement in that body for six. You need to be really stable for five. And four. Pull in, push through those feet for three. Good job. Two. Lovely. And one. And again. Tap eight, use that breath, pull in for seven. Lovely, and six, keep that breath flowing for five. Good job, four, slow and steady, three. Fantastic, two, lovely, and one. Push back up, walk the hands back up, push into the feet, and unfurl. Woo, good job, guys. Can you feel that heart rate rising, that breath increasing? Fantastic. We're going to do it all again. Now you know what's happening. Really enjoy that flow, okay? Moving through the body, using the spine as well. This is much more sort of classical Pilates because we are incorporating the flow into the movements rather than doing the movements, okay, as separate entities. So this is really good, guys. Well done. Okay, let's inhale to prepare. Exhale to tuck the chin and then roll sequentially through the body, vertebrae by vertebrae, out we go, fingers forwards, elbows into the side, ready for those push-ups, three, two, one, let's drop, eight, push up to centre, seven, use that breath to push up, for six, that body nice and strong, for five, those elbows into the side, come on, for four, we've got this, stay strong, for three, lovely guys, two, fantastic, and one, push up, Walk the hands back. There we go. Inhale and exhale. Restack. Nice and slow. Controlling. Shoulders back and down. Head beautifully tall. And again, inhale to prepare. Exhale to tuck. To roll and to release. Drifting down. Stretching. Lengthening. Walking the hands out underneath the shoulders. That body line nice and straight. Drawing across to me for eight. 
those mountain climbers. Seven, pulling that tummy in for six, tucking that pelvis under for five and four. Use that breath, slow and steady for three. Good job. Two, lovely and one. And again, push up, walk the hands back. Inhale and exhale to stand. Oh, feel that gorgeousness. Inhale to prepare, exhale to tuck to roll and to release the final time. I'm walking those hands out underneath the shoulders. Time for taps for eight, body steady, seven, control for six and five. No movement for four and three. Good job, two and one. And again, eight, pull in tight, come on, seven. We've got this for six and five. That breath flow for four, good job. Three, fantastic, two, Lovely, and one, drop to the knees, sit back, oh, stretch back, oh, slow that breath. Safe in the knowledge, but complete that lovely little flow. Roll your wrists, roll your shoulders if you need to, and have a quick drink. Well done, guys. That was really good. I hope you really enjoyed that flow. Really nice to have that movement going through everything and seeing how different um, exercises all can fit together and do a little sequence and you might feel that you can do one on your own at home something you know that you see oh i could do that you could do it with a hold a plank hold you could move it into that mermaid that we've done before so there's lots of variations and things you could do there well done right down we go now <sighs> a bit of relaxation we've worked very hard this morning already so it's hands in that w position for me okay we're thinking about these back muscles that we're working on and strengthening the bottom's relaxed, the legs relaxed, but of course that core always locked on for me. Okay, let's come down to the mat. Ah, relaxing down, tummy's nice and in. Ah, relax and slow the breath, relax the bottoms, relax the legs, draw in the abdominals, in the pelvic floor. Let's inhale to prepare and exhale to peel ourselves up off the mat for eight and release down. A slow and steady movement, really relax into the flow of the breath for seven. Really center yourselves in the moment. Feel that breath and feel the precision strengthening those back muscles as you rise up for six. Good job. And five, check that neck and back all still aligned. And if you start to feel your bottom squeezing or the legs tightening, just make that little movement slightly smaller. That's perfectly fine. We're thinking about the precision of the movement, okay? It doesn't have to be large movement to be effective. Okay, and we really want to be thinking about those muscles we're developing. As you rise up again for three, check those tummies for me, check those pelvic floors for two, soft and gentle. And one, stretching up, releasing back, and then let's sit back into child's pose. Take a moment there relax and slow the breath again okay now we always do this for two sets because always in the first set your mind's still racing a little bit from what we've been doing before so this time okay we're going to go down again i want you to think even more could you have actually pulled your pelvic floor in a little bit more could that tummy have been pulled in more maybe you could have pushed into those hands a bit more progress the exercise okay it's your workout guys you work to where you feel happy okay and don't feel this you're not in any competition with anyone, we're all working to our own pace, to our own bodies, okay? Let's inhale to prepare and exhale again to peel up for eight. Feel the breath slowing and centering the body, releasing and relaxing as you rise up again for seven. Check those necks and backs, we're all still in line and the neck is not working, it's a separate entity to the rest of the body. Okay, slow that breath down, check those tummies nice and in. That's it, relax the bottom. Relax the legs, relax the breath for five. You might want to push up a little bit more into those arms and that's perfectly fine. Or it could just be a very small movement again, that's fine. Two, beautiful, lovely, releasing and relaxing. And one, slow and steady. Down we go, sitting back into child's pose. Well done guys, nice stretch back. Slow that breath down, relax. Ah, well done. Right, so we're gonna roll around now onto our back. 
and we're going to do some nice reverse planks, okay? So for the reverse plank, ideally we have our fingers facing forwards, close to the bodies by our bottoms, okay? So we can work into the back of the arm into that tricep again. However, some people, okay, they don't find it particularly comfortable in the wrists. And as I like to say, I'm not the Pilates police. If you find it more comfortable to have your hands, you know, I like to sort of do it in an almost like a clenched fist. I find that better for me. I've broken my wrist before, so I find that more comfortable, okay? But you can have them out to the side. So do whatever feels right for you. Never in Pilates do anything that feels unkind to your own body, okay? So wherever those hands are gonna be, okay, where the foot facing forwards, for a little clenched fist, we're gonna push up. Option one is to lift it up, okay? Option two, lifting those legs out, lengthening, stretching. I've got my core locked on, okay, my pelvic floor locked on. And then for option three, if we want to, we can increase with a lovely little leg lift, okay? We're gonna lower that down nice and slowly using the back of the arm as much as we can if our fingers aren't facing forwards, okay? And we're gonna do that three times, really controlling through that core. If you're lifting your legs up, guys, please be gentle with them. Don't lift them up, plonk them down. Okay, I want to see some lovely long legs, controlled legs, push through the legs. Activate the muscles, of course, throughout the whole body. Okay, so guys, let's inhale to prepare and exhale to push up into position. Inhale here, exhale the legs or stay up. We can hold it up. Let's hold it up just for a minute. Seven, six, and five. Control for four, pull in three, lovely, two, and one, release down. Slow and steady through that back of the arm. Lovely, well done. Roll the shoulders, roll the wrists if you need to. Slow that breath down. Inhale and exhale. We're gonna do it again. Let's inhale to prepare. Exhale to push up into position, okay? Inhaling here, exhaling. We want to go for that leg lift, progressing it slightly for seven. Pulling in all the time for six, or just stay up perfectly fine for five. Good job, and four. Keep that bottom lifted for me. For three, use that breath. Two, lovely, and one, gently release all the way down. Fantastic, well done, roll those shoulders, take a minute, and again, think about it. Could you pull your tummy in a bit more? Could you use that pelvic floor a bit more? Come on guys, final time, let's do it. Inhaling to prepare, exhaling to push up into position. Inhaling here, exhaling, let's lift for eight, control. Seven, use that breath for six. And five, pulling for four, good effort. Or here, three, lovely, two, fantastic, and one. Sit back, stretch back, roll those wrists. Well done, guys, great effort, fantastic. Right, we're gonna roll down to the mat now and do a nice little bit of core work. There we go, right, let's lie down. Those legs up, okay? At 90 for me, they're staying above the hips, they're not coming forwards, those tummies are pulled in. I mean, you should almost think like there's a chain coming from your belly button, put somebody pulling it down, okay, back into the bath with that chain to keep it really flat. We don't want that tummy to dome up, okay, we want to keep it flat. Pull in the pelvic floor. If you want to progress it, you can draw the head up, locking down the ribs, okay, you're having your head down is perfectly fine, okay, whatever you're doing. Be gentle with your own body. Let's inhale to prepare and exhale to tap for eight. Mobilizing through that hip joint, seven. That 90 degrees is still staying my leg for six. Good job, and five. We're pulling in nice and tight for four. We're using that breath, three. Good effort, lovely for two. Fantastic, and one. And again, pull in tight, come on, seven. Use that breath for six. Lovely, and five, keep that angle. For four, that's it, and three, fantastic. Two, pull in, and one, and release. Have a little hug in there, take a moment, okay? We're gonna move into single leg stretch. So we're going to draw one leg in and extend the other leg out. Again, tummy's really pulled in, we're not gonna let it dome up. It's just a very gentle hold on that leg as we alternate, okay? So really nice and gentle. If you feel any discomfort in your back, Go back down to the taps, okay? And again, if you don't want to have your neck up, perfectly fine to release it down to the mat. Okay, guys, let's inhale to prepare. Exhale to come up into position, shoulders away from the ears. Let's inhale here and exhale to extend for eight. Really pulling in that abdominal for seven. Using that breath for six. Extending that leg nice and low for five. Pulling in all the time for four. Using that breath for three. Shoulders away from the ears for two. 
lovely relaxed movement for one and again push away for eight you might want to have your head down perfectly fine for seven we're drawing in all the time whatever we're doing for six use that breath and five good job for four slow and steady for three lovely for two and one and release have a little hug in there guys take a moment and release okay the next exercise is a crisscross with a leg lift i like to call it one two three leg lift because it really tells you what you need to do okay so we're going to draw one elbow across the body to the knee i'm not pulling the head i'm using my abdominals to rotate so we're going to work across the two really slow and steady on the third one that long leg is going to come up and down okay and then we're going to keep on working like that an easier option, guys, is just a little leg lift, a one, a two leg lift, and then we're just going to hold it for a couple of seconds and then release and keep going. Okay, and we're going to do that for 45 seconds, guys. Okay, I want you to be really slow, really gentle with the body. Don't pull the head. Okay, just work gently from side to side. Okay, guys, so let's inhale to prepare and exhale to come up into position inhale here and exhale to rotate for eight using that breath slow and steady for seven a lovely rotation there we go and what am i talking about we should have been doing three i tell you what long leg up and down my fall across we go let's work one across for two gently for three i was too busy enjoying the flow that long leg goes up and down and again work across the body for one there we go, two, slow and steady for three. That long leg up and down, stretch through those legs, make them straight for me, use that breath, check that tummy's in. As we come up again, long leg up and down. The slower we go, the harder these abdominals are having to work. Pull in and use that breath, that long leg again, up and down. Okay, one more for me guys, working across, two and three, that long leg up, and down and release. Feet down, take a minute, have a little hug in there. Good job. Hope you can feel that starting to work all through those transverse abdominals, okay? Really nice and locked up. Have a little rest and then we're gonna do it all again. And then we're gonna work down through the exercises with no rest, okay guys? So let's inhale to prepare. Exhale to come up into position and ready for that one, two, three leg lift. Let's rotate for one, lovely and two, gently and three. Long leg goes up and down. And again, work across one, gently for two, fantastic for three. Keep pulling that tummy in, keep pushing through that leg, okay? Keep that breath flowing. Be gentle on that neck, don't pull it, come on. Long leg up and down and again, working across a lovely rotation, that breath flowing, long leg up and down. And again, working across one, gently for two, long leg for three, up and down. Last one for me, for one, pull in two, keep rotating for three, long leg up, and down, good job. Straight into single legs for eight. Pull in, stretch and lengthen for seven. Keep those shoulders away from the ears for six. Just a gentle hold for five. And four, use that breath, pull in tight. Two, lovely, and one. And again, push away for eight, that's it. And seven, check that breath still flowing. For six, can you feel that energy building in the stomach? For four, good job, and three, push away for two, lovely, and one, legs up into taps, keep them above your hips, let's tap, eight, back to centre, seven, now you can really feel the effectiveness of this, for six, that's it, and five, that breath still flowing for four, pulling in for three, good job, two, lovely and one and again tap eight come on pull in tight seven use that breath for six lovely and five keep that breath flowing for four pull that tummy in when you're there three fantastic two lovely and one oh core that's why they call it core exercises <laughs> You can feel that well done guys have a little roll have a little stretch out whatever feels 
right for you. Slow the breath down, slow the body down and release well done some great exercises there okay we're going to do some lovely leg circles now okay the purpose of the of the circle of course is the core okay so this area the pelvis must stay really steady no movement okay we're going to the first option is stir through the hip joint okay with a bent leg, two legs bent, no movement in that pelvis. Option two, we're gonna lengthen that leg out, slightly turn it inward, so we're working inner thigh as well, and we're gonna draw a beautiful circle here, okay? Again, no movement in that pelvis. Option three, both legs long and extended. It might make that movement slightly smaller, okay? But that pelvis and that core is gonna work harder, okay? So pick a level where you can control that tummy, where there's no movement in that pelvis, okay? Push through those legs, really activate those muscles, okay, guys? Let's pick an um, option where we feel happy, Collect, inhale to prepare, and exhale to come into position, drawing up and in. Inhaling here, exhaling to rotate. For eight, that movement coming through the hip joint. And seven, pushing out through those legs for six use that breath inhaling and exhaling to rotate good job for six lovely and five keep those muscles activated for four pull that tummy in no movement in that core lovely for three nice and gentle two fantastic and one, and then circle in the reverse. Eight, come on, push through those legs. Seven, if you're not feeling it in that core, lengthen the other leg for six. And five, again, no movement for four. Push through, and three, slow and steady. Two, lovely, and one, and release. Leg down, change sides. Inhaling to prepare, exhaling to circle for eight. Keep that pelvis steady, seven. Push through that leg for six. Try and make that circle as perfect as possible. For five, that's it. Draw that clock face. For four, that breath still flowing. Three, those tummies nice and in. Two, lovely, and one. And rotate for eight. Draw in seven. Use that breath for six. And five, control for four. Lovely, and three. Fantastic, two. Lovely, and one, and release down. Lovely, good job, guys. Have a little hug in there, take a moment, and then we're gonna move back to that first side. So stretching, lengthening, inhaling here, exhaling to rotate for eight, pulling in all the time. For seven, using that breath, drawing that clock face. For six, that's it, use that breath. And five, slow and steady. For four, keep pulling in tight, three, Drawing that perfect circle. Two, lovely, and one. And rotate, eight. Come on, try lengthening those legs. Seven, pushing through for six. And five, you can rest the head down if you wish. For four, pulling in so tight. Three, fantastic. Two, lovely, and one. And change sides for me. Push through, activate and lengthen. Inhaling here, exhaling to circle for eight. And seven. Use that breath for six and five for four. Check that tummy's not moving. Three, fantastic. Two, lovely. And one, and change direction. Eight, keep pulling in tight. Seven and six, slow and gentle. For five and four, good job. For three, fantastic. Two, Lovely and one and release. Hug in, take a little moment there and relax. Good job, guys. Well done. Oh, I'll tell you what, I can feel it on my core this morning. Well done. Right, we're going to roll round onto the side. Do a nice little bit of side leg work, okay? So we want that body, guys, in a really nice straight line, okay? That tummy's nice and in. We're going to hitch up slightly in that waist, okay? We're going to take the hand for a little bit more support in front of us if we want to, okay? The aim is that the body's not moving, okay? And we're doing that, of course, by locking on that core. Let's just take that top leg up to hip height, no higher, and release down for seven. That's it. And six. Checking that control for five. No movement, four, good stuff, three, fantastic, two, 
lovely and one holding at the top circling again through that hip eight good hip mobility seven pulling in for six lovely and five controlling for four no movement in that body three good job two lovely and one push through those legs activate rotate back eight and seven use that breath for six one stretch out for five and four that breath flowing three good job two lovely and one to the front again eight pull in seven six and five body steady for four good three lovely two and one reverse eight pull in seven six and five pull in for four come on three we've got this two and one lovely rest hope you can feel all that energy working into that upper thigh as well right bringing that top leg now across and over the bottom leg we're going to lift up that bottom leg working into inner thigh okay again body really nice and steady i don't want to see any rocking and rolling take your hand there if you need to okay let's inhale to prepare and exhale to squeeze that leg up for eight releasing down seven Picking it up for six, those tummies locked on for five. That breath flowing four, check your back is still in line. Three, good effort, two, lovely and one. At the top, circle forwards, eight, seven, six and five. Pull in for four, three, two and one. Reverse, eight, seven, six and five. Keep checking, four, three, two and one to the front eight lift it up come on seven squeeze six and five for four three two and one reverse eight lift it up come on seven six and five good job for four pull up three lovely two and one and release gently down to the ground good job well done right we're going to come up now onto that forearm i want you to check that that forearm is directly underneath your shoulders okay the options are two legs stacked that body's still a nice straight line okay we're going to come up into that side plank okay option two one leg extended one leg bent or option three both legs together okay the choice is yours we're pushing through that side waist really activating here okay guys so let's inhale to prepare exhale to push up for me inhale here and exhale to rotate for eight really slow and steady stretch back open the heart really enjoy the flow sense your mind okay clear your mind just enjoy this beautiful movement through the body for six let that breath flow lovely and five pulling in all the time for four good effort three fantastic two lovely and one slow and steady releasing back and then releasing down to the ground well done we're going to go up now for our little mini sort of plank okay so pick from maybe one of the exercises we've done this morning what about what about the plank mountain climbers the plank taps okay or you could just do a plank hold whatever works for you guys okay let's inhale to prepare and exhale to push up into position okay drawing in the ribs drawing in the tummies staying nice and secure okay you might want to draw across that's perfectly fine you can do a little mixture of both can you there we go drawing in using that breath slow and steady working across or we might want to do some taps that's it working and pushing into those hands that breath flowing all the time we might be a bit tired out you might want to be here perfectly fine guys it's your workout you work to where you feel happy drawing in that breath flowing just really enjoying the exercises and this time that's especially for you drawing the tummy drawing the pelvic floor keep that breath flowing good job you might just want to hold it up enjoy that strength you feel through your own body be really aware of how powerful you are in your own body, the things that you can achieve. Keep that breath flowing, drawing in for three, two, one. Drop to the knees, sit back, stretch back, slow the breath, slow down and release. Good effort. When you're ready, guys, let's roll round onto the other side. <sighs> That's it. A nice 
long line with that body, okay, drawing in those abdominals, hitching up, as I said, in the waist to activate those side muscles, and then that leg, just to hip height and releasing down. Push through those legs, activate the muscles for seven. Drawing in for six, good, and five, lovely and steady, for four, and three, good, two, lovely, and one. At the top, through the hip, eight, no body movement, seven, Draw in for six. See how tight you can pull that tummy in for five. That will keep you steady. And four. Good job. Three. Lovely. Two. Fantastic. And one. Reverse. Eight. Pull in. Seven. Six. And five. Let that breath flow for four. Good. Three. Nice. Two. And one. To the front again. Eight. Seven. Push through those legs. Six. And five. Use that breath for four. Good. Three. Slow and gentle. Two. And one. Reverse. Eight. Pull in. Seven. Six. And five. Good job. For four. Lovely. Three. Two. And one. And release. Love that one. Bring that top leg up for me. Squeezing up. Inner thigh. Drawing in. Inhaling to prepare. Exhaling to lift. For eight. And seven. Squeezing up. For six. Checking new movement in that body. For five. And four, good job. For three, two, and one. At the top, circling forwards. Eight, that's it. Seven, no movement. Six, and five. Pull in for four. Good. Three, two, and one. Reverse. Eight, seven, six, and five. Pull in for four. Three, two, and one. To the front. Eight, that's it. Seven, six, and five. Gently four, three, two and one keep pushing up reverse it eight come on we've got this seven keep squeezing six and five good job for four three two and one and release well done could you feel that maybe one side was harder for you than the other i often think that i think oh that side was definitely harder for me this morning right let's check that arm check that elbow it's directly underneath that shoulder for me and please check that that body line is really nice and straight i don't want those bottom legs sticking out here i've seen that before make sure that body's nice and straight those tummies nice and in let's inhale to prepare and exhale to push up pushing through that side of the body inhaling here exhaling to rotate for eight stretching back slow and steady opening the heart opening the rib cage stretching through the back for seven that's it use the breath for six the slower you go the better it is well done for five i'm not going to stop counting there we go good job for four that's it slow and steady for three lovely opening the heart for two fantastic good job and one slowly open and then gently release the body down to the mat well done guys let's stretch out have a beautiful long stretch to lengthen these muscles that's why we do this in pilates we're looking for beautiful long limbs okay we can do so much toning but we need to lengthen and stretch out to give us those long muscles that we're after that sort of ballerina-esque physique let's draw one leg into the body and then push that up towards the sky really push down in the box and keep it in contact with the mat okay and keep that leg as long and as straight as we can it might be down here and that's perfectly fine but we're not going to be able to get any straightened or lengthened muscles if we're holding it like this okay we need to push up push down and push through the leg okay inhaling and exhaling drawing that leg towards the body release the shoulders release them pull them away from the ears inhaling and exhaling drawing that leg ever closer towards the body check those tummies for me guys are they really pulled in and tight are we utilizing them here let's inhale again and exhale draw that leg closer ever closer to the body feeling that stretching and lengthening all the way down that back of the leg inhaling and exhaling to release fantastic and then on to the other side hugging that leg in and then lifting up towards the sky push down in that bottom push up through that ball of the foot and straighten and lengthen that leg as much as possible check those tummies are nice and in and the shoulders are pulled down away from the ears let's inhale to prepare and exhale to draw that leg ever closer in towards the body Feel those muscles straightening and lengthening all down that back of the leg. Inhale here and exhale, draw it in again. 
feel that tension all through those muscles and then slowly it starts to release. Again, inhale and exhale, draw that leg ever closer in towards the body. Inhale and exhale, slowly release. Well done, guys. Let's draw one leg across the other and then take that supporting leg up into tabletop, okay? Again, check that tummy, everything we're doing. Let's use that tummy, okay? Draw that knee in gently towards the body and feel that stretch all the way down the leg. You might notice I don't go like this because I think quite often people are holding the weight in the leg, okay, and they're not letting the leg itself do the work again because that's working your core. Keep that breath flowing, draw that leg in, increase that stretch and release. Changing side to me, and again onto the other side, drawing that knee in, slowing that breath, centering yourself in the here and the now. Draw that leg in, release and relax the breath. Inhale and exhale, draw that knee in again towards the body. Increase that stretch and release. Well done. Feet down on the floor for me guys, hands gently by the sides, and then allow the knees to tumble down towards the mat. <sighs> release the breath, slow everything down. Heavy head, heavy shoulders. Release and relax the knees down into the mat. Slow the breath down, inhaling one, two, three, four, five, and exhaling two, three, four, five. And take yourself to your happy place and really visualize yourself there, feeling happy, calm, and contented, feeling the breath and the wind against your face. Inhaling one, two, three, four, five, and exhaling two, three, four, five. Inhaling happy memories, happy times and hopes and dreams and exhaling any, any negative thoughts you might be holding on to. Release and relax. Reset. Allow your mind to refresh with each and every inhalation. Refresh, rejuvenate. And when you're ready, roll those legs into centre and again allow them to flow down towards the other side. Heavy head, heavy shoulders, heavy knees. Feel the spine stretching and releasing, the body giving in to the mat. Release and relax. Slowing the breath down even more. Let's inhale one, two, three, four, five, six, and exhale two, three, four, five, six. As we begin to reset our intentions for the day and for the week ahead, full of hope, possibility and positivity. Use this time to centre your mind, to reflect, to reset, to refresh. And when you're ready guys, with that breath still flowing, rolling around into an all fours position for me. Inhaling, drawing up and in through that back into cat's pose. Exhaling to release. Inhaling, drawing up and in using those abdominal muscles. Exhaling to release. And again, inhaling, drawing up and in. Exhaling to release. Let's push up into that downward dog, which was done so many times today. Push into the back of the foot. Push down the heel, trying to get that down to the mat. Feel that stretch again all down the back of the leg. Those abdominals really nice and pulled in. Push into the hands. Feel really strong and secure in that pose. Inhale and exhale. Walk the hands in towards the feet. Notice that lovely lengthening effect that's taken part during the class. Let's inhale here and exhale to slowly restack. Vertebrae by vertebrae all the way up to standing. Those shoulders back and down and that head beautifully tall, feeling refreshed, renewed and revitalized and ready to take on the world. Come on guys, we can do it. Let's circle those shoulders and step through pedals just to re-energize ourselves for what looks like it's gonna be an absolutely fantastic day. Thank you all so much for being here. You kept on working really hard, I know you did. Keep on pushing. Well done. Thanks ever so much, guys. Have a happy day. Take care. Bye.